So I, I would say there is, there is a role for the states. I mean, I, I put the main role for the states in getting the environment right. So, you know, skills are another very important role. Education is absolutely critical um, in terms of supplying the skilled workers and the, and, the, and the skilled managers who are going to work in these places. But there may be also a role in terms of thinking about you know, what your country is good at, where does your country's comparative advantage lie. I mean, you know, not all countries are equally good at everything. You know, there are some differences across countries. So think about you know, what you're good at. Think about whether those are in areas where uh, the growth the demand is going to grow. So you might be very good at you know, producing things which you know, basically a declining industry, so that's not very useful. But within that space, there may be a, there may there may be an important activist role for governments in terms of thinking about how to develop those sectors or those those particular activities. I wouldn't think of that just in terms of throwing money at the problem. So people you know the traditional industrial policy of things, okay, you know, biotech is a growth sector. You know, we all think we're good at biotech, so we're going to give the biotech sector loads of subsidy. I think that's the wrong way to think about it. But what you should think about is if you if you do have some strengths, maybe in biotech, or it may be in you know in um, you know cocoa beans, or it may be in <coughs> you know in, in, in flowers or you know, clothing or some particular niche area, then uh, think about what what are the barriers to that sector growing. And often the barriers are not you know lack of subsidies. Often the barriers are kind of regulations which are in place, which make it difficult for entrepreneurs to grow their businesses. You know, that might be different, you know, it might be all the things from planning permission to build new buildings, and maybe skills, and there's particular skills that we need, which you know we need to develop by getting players in the industry together to develop those skills. And maybe we need to import particular foreign expertise, that might be technological, it might be managerial. So there's particular um, strategic interventions, I'd say. And often those interventions increase competition. You, know, you might want to say, let's get another player in to increase competition. And that by itself will, will do something. Think about Japanese firms coming into many Western countries in the 1970s with uh, car manufacturing, motorcycle manufacturing, that completely shook things up in Europe and in the United States. And that was a, a great thing. So, you know, openness, removing barriers to allowing those foreign firms to come in might be a great way to shake things up.